My name is Christina Henley. Um, I live here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I work at the Tulsa Performing Arts Center, but I just graduated from Oklahoma State University, May 2014. My major is art. My emphasis is, or was, um, printmaking and sculpture. Um, mainly bronze casting or metal casting, and then as far as printmaking, um, wood carving and uh, linoleum engraving, um, as well as copper plate. So um, mainly the inspiration for my latest pieces were, uh, was nature, um, more specifically birds. Um, and then for my printmaking, it was just mainly mark making and um, playing with different values. So I will show you some of my artwork and explain how, um, what the process was behind make, making each sculpture or print and um, the materials that I use. Um, this first one is um, a sand casting. Um, I used aluminum as far as the metal to do the casting. And basically what I did is I used a sand mold um, that hardened over a period of time. And then um, after the sand hardened, I put in my design that I wanted to do, which for this particular sculpture, I wanted to do a nest type sculpture. And so um, just using um, a sculpture tool, I carved into the sand of the design that I wanted and then after that set, I uh, poured in the aluminum that I wanted, um, that I chose or paid for. And um, uh, you have to do that immediately and it has to sit for, I believe, two to three days. And then you can actually remove your um, design out of the cast. And so I came up with this nest so it can sit either way, like a nest would, or to show more of like the branches. Mm -hmm. And it's just the bird that I made. Um, it's actually just a, this is a pedestal and again to tie in with um, the bird and nature theme, I just took a wood log that I found outside and I painted it white and gave it accents of silver and then I drilled a hole into this, um, it's a piece of plywood um, to um, adhere it together so that this bird oh, that I made out of bronze would just be able to sit on top and show the bird in flight. This is about 50 pounds and very heavy. Um, but I wanted to make it look light and not so heavy from appearance. Um, I did use um, a, like a chemical um, wash on the bronze bird so that it could show more of like a rainbow color, especially on the feathers above the top of the bird. And then um, again, it's the same process as with the claws. I did a wax sculpture first that was very heavy then I casted the wax and then I poured in the bronze after everything was set. And with the wax, I like to manipulate it because I can put in more details more so than any other type of sculpture process. So that's why I like doing metal castings and um, hopefully I'll be able to do some more. All right, this is um, just one of my prints that I did. Um, it's actually just a woodcut print, so I carved in all of the details. And um, the inspiration was for this piece was um, basically like the femme fatale. Um, these are the nurses from the horror movie Silent Hill. And I liked their characters because it showed um, like female nurses that were, weren't caring like we know nurses to be, but deadly. But anyway, basically the process with this woodcut print, I said it, I, um, this is just a regular piece, um, I believe of uh, different pressed wood. Um, I drew the design that I wanted first, 
Um, however, I did add in more details as I went along. Um, and then after I carved out the image, I had to choose which colors I wanted to do, which with the woodcut print, the process with printing is that you choose an ink color and then if you want more colors, you have to um, basically clean off the woodcut and add whatever additional colors that you want. Uh, the process can take a while if you do more than I'd say three to five colors and in total I did three colors. Um, and so um, after doing each um, color of ink that I wanted to do, um, the print turned out like this. And even though it, there are places where it's white, that's where I decided not to put in a color. So it's navy blue, lime green, um, lavender, and actually there is a fourth color, a lighter blue. Um, and so this is just the end process. Um, eventually, I mean, actually that's why I'm glad that I was able to move back to Tulsa because I do want to continue to create art, especially now that I have the space to do so and also enter in two different art shows um, here in Tulsa just to keep up with my artwork and not necessarily give that up. That is something that I want to continue to do. Um, it is a challenge, especially with um, sculpture and printmaking because with printmaking, um, I had a um, print studio that I could use and a sculpture studio, which isn't necessarily available to me right now. So, I just have to go about maybe new methods of creating art or maybe creating sculptures out of materials that I find.